Ooh, some hard rock. Oh shit. Okay, I have no idea what's real anymore. Okay, this is pretty messed up. Holy fuck. Death by Toilet. That's a good one. Well, this kind of counts like a self defense, I guess. If I need to explain this to police. There's a fucking katana in this room. Hey, hanging on the wall. Hey, downfall poster. Frankenstein. A weed painting. How tasteful. I don't know, this is a pretty cool room. Do we call the police or not? I think if we don't call the police, it will look a lot more suspicious. But what? Shit. I recognize that one poster near Downfall 1, but I forgot the name of the game. Was Downwell? I think that was Downwell. Remember, it's the same universe as on Avowed. I should play on Avowed sometime, really. I give up. Let's call the police. Can I borrow your phone, Zach? You sure you want to do this? Just give it to me. Please. Emergency line, how can I help you? Oh, this sounds bad. I regret my choice. His voice is completely moronic. Well, that's done. I guess now we wait. What does he remind me of? He reminds me of one of the characters from the Cat Lady. Oh yeah, the cannibal couple. That dude that was voiced by David Firth. How's your head, Zach? It's all right. I think it was just a little bump, really. And my glorious hat took most of the impact too. You saved us back there. Me? Nah, I just... Oh, shut up. You did. If it wasn't for you, we'd all be dead now. Let's just agree it was a team effort. Except, you really had no business in helping me. Well, maybe I did. Why has everything in life got to be so fucking hard? All I ever wanted was to have a normal, happy life. I shouldn't have to worry about my mum's drinking and John harassing me. And I shouldn't have to look after a baby that isn't even mine. It's not always gonna be this way. Then why is everything I do a fucking failure? You know, that's what happens. You're gonna fail. You're gonna fail ten times, a hundred times. 
maybe even a thousand times. But that's okay. Failure isn't permanent. You get back up. You keep going. Well, sometimes it is. And this time, you're gonna be stronger, wiser, and you're gonna be better. You want to live your own life and be free of the past? Then stop worrying about failing. Stop being afraid. That's a pretty nice outlook. Dream you want to achieve. And never, ever give up. Why do you talk like some old Chinese wise man? You're only yeah. a couple years older than me. I... I watch motivational videos on YouTube. It's good advice, though. Thanks. What if they take Bethany from me? We won't let that happen. You're her sister. And you're an adult, aren't you? Only just. It's still pretty obvious that she'd be better off in your care. I mean, she's got no one else left in the world, has she? No. And neither do I. You know, I'd... Yeah? I noticed something I tell you later. No. It's nothing. Forget it. This is a cool place. What do you actually do? Oh, I make video games. Really? That's awesome. Well, they're pretty shit, to be honest. They can't be that bad. I mean, people are buying them, right? Some people enjoy them. That's true. But I'm hardly Hideo Kojima. Well, I don't know who this Heidi Kajuna is, but I'm sure one day you'll make a great successful game. You reckon? Well, of course. As long as you put your heart and soul into it. In my experience, the heart and soul means nothing without a million dollars spent on advertising. Maybe you're only saying that because your heart's been somewhere else. Yeah, so I think I want to see. Well, now the dialogue choices covered the thing a bit, but I noticed this PC right behind him. And for some reason, it's put inside the compartment backwards. But that's not the worst thing. It has no cables, yet the screen is on. How does that work? Wireless monitor? Hmm. That, that's always pretty amazing. If you ask me. What games did you make? I mean, I admit I don't know much about it. My dad had a console, and we used to play together back in the day. You've probably never heard of them. There's thousands of indie games out there these days. Oh, come on. I want to know. What was the first one about? It's called... The Dog Gentleman? Okay. <laughs> Just like it's the cat lady. Chap who really loves his dog. But it gets kidnapped. Oh, now that's like John Wick. Ooh. Okay, you want to play the snow? <laughs> oh, can I? <laughs> Glorious. All you do is run left and right and, and press the attack button to attack with your leash. I can still open my inventory. Yeah, John Wick version of the cat lady. Here we go. Can you fight? Oh, but luckily your leash attacks are powerful enough to cut them in half. Oh, that's a zombie cat. Nice callback. Sounds cool, man. I love it. 
What other games did you make? Oh. You want to hear more? Of course you do. Okay. Two years ago, I made this odd little thing called Ice Cube Battles. I wanted to tap into that stupid everyday object simulator craze. You made a game about ice cubes? Mm-hmm. And they fight until they melt. I'm just trying to imagine it. Sounds kind of silly to me. It's only 99 cents. I mean, sure, it might not be the best game ever, but actually, yeah, it sucks balls, really. I'm not too proud of that one. Anything else? What other games did you make? Well, after the dog gentleman, I felt like I needed to make something short and snappy to generate some cash. Because for whatever reason, only five people bought it. So I made the Herring Strangler, a game where you're herring and you escape from a fishmonger to jump back into the sea. And how did that go down? It did not make it into the featured section. Let's just say that. But at least I learned games about fish do not sell. Good to know. I want to go as far as I can with this. What other games did you make? I... I don't want to bore you. Oh, come on. I wouldn't have asked if I wasn't interested. Fair enough. Well... I once tried to make something deeper. Something... meaningful. I don't know, this sound is interesting. Dava's blood came to be. Except, the more I worked on it, the more it became a first-person zombie oh. shooter. These are at least popular, right? Oh, yeah. It might have got overwhelmingly negative reviews, but still. 10,000 copies sold in the first week. In my book, that's a job well done. Um. Well, I guess if you get money, but as a consumer, I wouldn't be too happy. What other games did you make? I actually made this great game once. How many are there? Holy shit. You wake up on an island, and you're all naked, except for a rock and a torch. There's other players that try to kill you and steal your shit, too. And as you go on exploring and gathering resources, it you sounds like survive, rust. build bases, craft stuff, that sort of thing. But just as I was about to release it, some other guys stole uh -huh. my idea and beat me to it. Oh, what a shame. Yeah. If it wasn't for that, Dust would have been the greatest game I ever made. How many are there? Fuck. What other games did you make? I've rumbled on enough. Oh. I'm sure you've had enough listening about it. Why are you being so nice to me, Zack? Alright. Oh, that was interesting. Seems to be a twat lately. You could have said no when I came asking for help. But you didn't. Why? Well, if a lifetime of playing video games teaches you one thing, it's that the hero always rescues the princess. That's not the only reason, though, is it? Oh, man. I don't know. Zack, no. You do. Ooh. Do you really want me to say it? Um, it's pretty rare for me, but they ship these two. It's all right, Zack. I like you too. What's wrong? Look, 
Can you not smell it? Jesus. Did they feed you that stinking curry for dinner too? Oh. Yep. Code brown situation. And I'm guessing you don't have any clean nappies in your flat anywhere. Sorry. I stopped using them a long time ago. Fuck. What do we do? Well, I can't get them from my flat. Because I really don't want to go back there. We'll have to improvise. We need to clean her up and change her nappy. Uh, sounds tricky. Look, I've washed a bunch of old women today. How hard can it be with a baby? Well, I don't know. I'm a total noob with babies, remember? Do you have anything here I can use? Other than my beanie hat? Nope, I don't think so. Your beanie hat? This could totally work. Oh no. What? No! Oh no. It's a limited edition Breaking Bad beanie. Not the beanie. You're gonna say no to a baby? Say no to the baby. Not the hat. Fine. No. <laughs> no. Right. Not Good the work. hat. I just need to make some adjustments. This is so sad. Do you mind watching her while I have a look around? No. Go ahead. I would never sacrifice my head for a baby. No toilet paper. Boys will be boys, I guess. But does he not shit? I don't need to go right now. This is where Zack keeps his toiletries. Yes. I think I will need a pair of scissors. <laughs> no. Now, let's make two No, 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 no. No, no, no. Please, no. Done. This is the saddest day of my life. How can you commit such a crime against heads? Man, that's a pretty neat flat for one person. Zack's front door. George's bedroom. This room belongs to Zack's flatmate. Oh. I'm pretty sure he's out right now. Oh, he's not alone. Now there's no need to be judgmental about it. It's just a box of tissues. The kitchen is pretty nice. This looks like it could absorb liquid really well. I remember TV ads for this stuff. Apparently it can absorb insane amounts of liquid. Yeah, like in that one Simpson episode. Been playing with fridge magnets. Huh. I guess Zack really likes me. Yeah, I think we have everything. You two look very cute. Uh huh. And look, she stopped crying. Yep. You okay? Yeah. Well, I am. But the smell is strong with this one. Oh, sure. Yeah. I'll sort it out, Zach. Just give me a minute. 
do you use the tissues? I'll use these to clean Bethany up. But not Zek. Where do I use these on Zek? I'll use these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not gonna work. Look, that's not it. He's actually quite good looking. Uh. Okay. Nope. Uh. These kitchen towels should keep Bethany dry. Oh God. Perfect. I've got everything. Give her to me, Zach. One happy baby. But what said Dom? It boggles my mind how such a cute little thing can produce so much stink. Well, come on, baby shits are not that bad. This must be the cops. Can't be too careful. You know, this is a cop. Who is it? Police, please open. Evening to you both. I'm Officer Manley. I'm looking for Laura Wood. That's me. And the chap? He a boyfriend of yours? Zach's my neighbor. Okie dokie. So, you want to tell me what happened? And don't look so frightened. I'm here to help you, not shoot you. Good to know. My mom hanged herself in the bathroom. I'm real sorry, Miss Wood. And then John came. He made fun of her, being dead. And who's John? Her partner. He'd always been horrible and violent to her, but she never did anything to stop it. Well, I see. Carry on. Well, he attacked me and Zack. Knocked us both unconscious. And when I woke up, I saw John running a bath full of water. He had my baby sister, and he was going to drown her. Jeez. Why would he do that? I really don't know. He's mad. He must be mad to try and kill a baby. Right. Carry on. We tried to stop him, of course. Then he fell over and knocked his head on the loo. I think he's dead. It looked nasty. I just grabbed the baby and ran here. Where's the baby now? She's in my room. She's fine. Right. Good. Here's what we'll do. You, young man, will stay here and watch the baby. Miss Wood, you will follow me. We're gonna join up with my partner inside your flat. You okay with that? I don't really want to go back there. But I guess there's nothing to be afraid of now. Yes, it's reasonable, but I still not. I still don't feel good going alone. Follow me. You might be a parasite, you never know. There's no one here, Miss Wood. The that, fuck? That's impossible. She was here, 
Hanged on the shower curtain. Well, there's blood on the toilet. That's where John hit his head. I told you. Is John still lying, Odin? Stay behind me, miss. I will do. Can I got get a gun too? Kitchen. Let's move. Yeah, I, I like this idea. Let's read the kitchen. I'm kinda hungry. Area clear. Let's move. Let's check the bedroom. I guess no bit night snacks. Come on, you first. All right then. James. Whoa! What the fuck? Well, there is no redemption for this guy now, I guess. Seriously, what the fuck? I guess I'm eating more shark now. Well, this looks amazing. I like how stylized this is. In the police car as well. Holy shit. Well, that's pretty messed up. Why are these mannequins following me everywhere? Because none of this is real. Locked. Oh, Bethany. Dear little sister. There's a black cross on it, with stripes of red fabric wrapped around it. I guess that's for me. This one would be for my mother. Because the curtain. This cross has a noose hanging from it. I've seen that silly hat before. What does it hurt? What a tiny little coffin. Oh. It looks like some sort of toy. Oh. 
Oh, I like the sound. Yeah, these sounds, holy shit. You can actually make a beat out of them. <laughs> okay, enough messing around. That was odd. Didn't really recognize the character. Gift from a stranger. But why? Okay, what do you have? Cigarettes, onesie, umbrella, rose, train card. Oh, train card. Missing something still? A rose? That's not gonna work. Um, uh, they put a rose in somebody's grave. My mother's grave, maybe. Yeah, and then they put the onesie and. This grave umbrella is for me. Oh, no. Mom would want cigarettes. She likes some fags, as she says. Is that it? Did anything change? What about this thing? Why are these mannequins following me everywhere? No more items. Locked. Man, this is very sensitive. Oh. I guess the umbrella goes for the dude. Because he gifted the umbrella to Oraloi. It was his umbrella? And Lorelei always has roses in her hair. Is that right? Here we go. Nice catch. That's a pretty big key. Actually.
And this achieved what? Uh huh. Nice physics. I kind of hate the walking grass sound. Nice job, it's a bit too life. crusty. You know me? Who are you? The name's Jimmy. Jimmy the Traveler. And now that you've opened the way, there's one place I'd like to show you. We can talk as we go. It's quite a trek, but it's worth it. And before you ask, yes, you can trust me. <laughs> but how can I know that? that old hack set too. Oh, she says a lot of things, but believe me, I am no friend of hers. That still doesn't make you a friend of mine. Sure. But what if I told you I found a way to destroy her? To end this nightmare once and for all and send us both back to the real world? Then I'd listen to you very carefully. Let's go then. It'll get dark soon. I wanted to meet old lady Susan Ashworth. She was the best character in the series. But it's just some random mage dude. You want to tell me something about yourself? I mean, Jimmy the Traveler doesn't quite explain why you're here with me. In the afterlife. I... I travel in my sleep. Always have. What? Look, it used to be fun. I went to different places every night. At first I thought they were just dreams. Not real. But no. My body stayed in bed. But my mind, my spirit, or whatever. They were set free. In my sleep I was a ghost. Everything I saw happened somewhere. To someone. Then one night I traveled here. And I can't wake up since. So, if you're the good guy, and she's evil, then why did she bring me back to life? Because, you know, that was kind of awesome. It's all part of the game she's playing. She knew you'd die again, and that you will have no choice but to do what she asks. And trust me, Everything she does comes with a price. Anyway, I don't want to try to convince you. You'll know when you see the real her. Yeah, maybe. But when will I see the real you? The real me? Well, he's fast asleep in bed. Back in the real world. And if he doesn't wake up anytime soon, He'll most certainly die. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. So, where are we going? The tunnel. That's where the devil came from. Devil? You mean the Queen of Maggots? If you prefer. She has many names. But names are just names. They don't really matter. Wow, you sound just like her. Are you two related? What? No. Just asking. Are 
<laughs> I kind of want to annoy him. No. What's in the tunnel? That's where the real Queen of Maggots is. And has been since the dawn of time. The old woman is just a puppet. And her little house by the field? Not real. It felt very real to me. Sure. But trust me. It's just a dream within a dream. That real queen of maggots. What's she like? You'll see soon enough. I'm not really sure if I want to. No. Nobody wants to. But now that you're here, this is your only chance to win her wicked little game. How? By killing her. Once and for all. I'm in. That woman may seem friendly, but she hasn't fooled me. There's something about her. Something that gives me chills in my spine. So, how are we gonna do this? I made a bomb. A bomb? <laughs> yeah, it's weak to fire. Oh, I don't know, Jimmy. Not a big fan of bombs. Why not? What if I say no? Then you will forever be her slave. Just like others before you. We are here. Take this with you. By the way, why was he the on the roof of the house before? Feet. And how did I am Bob? Wait, are you not going in with me? No, I wish I could, but I am not allowed to enter the tunnel. But then why not? She'd sniff me out in an instant. I'm not dead like you. I'm only sleeping. Sleeping. I'm also only sleeping. And my heart is also sleeping and not beating anymore. But sure, we are both just sleeping. This is also pretty familiar. Hey Rock, why the hell not? Is there going to be an ambulance in here? With a dead body. I wonder what it does. Hmm. It makes a nasty sound. I wish I was strong enough to push it down, but I'm not. The tunnel is blocked with a pile of bricks and rusty metal parts. There's no getting around this. At least not without using my bomb. So do I use a bomb? Soup can grenade. That's not it. Oh, fuck it. I'll find another way to blow a queen of maggots. Now I like the fuse. That's how this works. Uh, can I... Can I maybe break this... Nope. The rock? No. God oh, damn it. Oh great. He gave me a broken lighter. He was a rock then. For fuck's sake. 
Oh, she's trying to make a spark. I thought she was just bashing the bomb. Keep out. Well, too late now. What are those? Yeah, why not? What is that tape? Kind of steam engine. It's so loud. It's like a heart. It was broken. Hmm. Here it is the ambulance. This one doesn't look completely broken. Maybe I could drive it? Even if it works, I can't drive it without a key. It's part of the ambulance equipment. Locked. It's blocking the tunnel exit. Is there a corpse inside? That's not it. It's of no use to me. I can't reach. I need. Maybe I can start one of these cars with it? Yeah, Severheads don't bother her at all anymore. I guess after naked old ladies, nothing scary anymore. Should I have checked the door first? It doesn't seem to notice me. Maybe it's blind. Even if it is I doubt it's deaf as well, so I better get out. It's locked. The symbol on the door looks familiar. I'm sure I've seen it before. Yeah, we've seen it in Maggot Queen's house. The 
this monster. Could it really be what Queen of Dragons actually is? Oh, I was just looking for the bathroom. I couldn't find one in your house. Is everything all right? I still have the key. This is getting pretty spooky. Lorelei! Come down here, would you? She's gonna get mad if she catches me fiddling with this door. I should try again later. Well, alright. I doubt it's gonna be good, no? This conversation. Where is she? The prodigal daughter returns. What took you so long? I got a little lost. You ought to be very careful, Lorelei. I can't always protect you. And there are places here you don't want to see. A bit, it's a bit late. I'll be more careful. It's just easy to take a wrong path in this strange world. That's all. Beware of wrong paths, my dear. My trust is not unlimited, and without me. You will never destroy that parasite who ruined your perfect little life. Yeah, perfect. I wouldn't call it perfect, but yeah, I know. I got tricked. Really? By that drunk lowlife? That miserable failure of a man? You let him outsmart you? Well, either you need to try a little harder or he's smarter than you thought. Next time, I'll make sure he stays dead. Well, if you don't, who will? Not Officer Manley, that's for sure. Yes, you can only ever rely on yourself. It's simple. If you want John to pay for his sins, you have to kill him with your own hands. I'm not spilling the beans about Jimmy. Give me another chance. I won't waste it this time. Yes. But I did say another chance would not come free. What do you want? I'd like you to play a game. I've been playing it for a long time myself. This is it's a video game? Entertaining. Well, as long as you yourself in the right mind frame but it'll be a good lesson for you that life requires sacrifices okay a game I like games but first I want you to understand what's at stake see all these candles they're human lives all's fine, as long as they're lit. 
But around here, sometimes it takes the lightest of draughts to put them out. Now, these three here, they're special. The first one burns for little Beth. Yeah, I fingered. Innocent and helpless. The middle ones for Zack. Your goofy boyfriend to be. And finally, you, Lorelei. Your flame's gone, of course, but we can make it burn again. We've done it once already. And let me guess, you want me to fetch something for you again? No, the price has gone up, dear. I told you it would. The task I have for you will be considerably harder this time. See all these unlit candles on the table? Pick one. Yeah, I, I thought for a moment that I would have had to either extinguish Bethany's or Zex. And also to light my own. No. Light it up, Lorelei. Can I just use it? I go to the fireplace. I've lit the candle. Let's see what story the flame has to tell. Oh, yeah, I remember this game. Pretty fun, this one. No, it's someone you've already met. A chef. His name is Al. Hmm. Yeah, that rings a bell. He works in the care home, right? Yes. You do know the spoke, but now you will get to know him better than anyone. Why him? What's so special about Al? Oh, there's nothing special about him. He's just a sad little man who likes to drink. His life has been slowly falling apart for quite some time. He tries to fix it, but you will make sure he fails. Oh. Why? And if I don't? A life for a life, Lorelei. I think that nice young gentleman that adores you so much would even the scales just fine. Or I could take Bethany instead. Would that hurt you even more? Your choice, Lorelei. Will you sacrifice their lives for a man you hardly know, or simply help him to do what he wants? Yes, the one nice alcoholic drink. That will be enough for Al. Hardly a devil's work, is it? And how on earth do I do that? You'll be an invisible presence in his life. A ghost following Al wherever he goes. Try whispering in his ear. Plant some bad thoughts in his mind. Sometimes that's enough to push them over the edge. But don't hesitate to break something either. He won't be able to see you after all. Be his misery. And 
make him drink again. Trust me, although Al might seem nice at first, he does not deserve a happy ending. Do I really have time for this? I have people that need me right now. They will wait. You have all the time in the world. Now, go through the mirror, my beautiful princess of maggots. Is that what I am now? All right. And this idea was beautiful expanded just now from the cat lady. Because the cat lady, when we extinguish the candles, just some random bloke puffed himself. And there was no emotional attachment, but now it actually feels kind of shit. Because we're doing the dirty work ourselves.